All right, so hey there and welcome back, y'all. So I always get questions. I get questions, hundreds and hundreds of questions every year. You know, what do you do with all the stuff, uh, you know, besides the fur of all the animals you trap? Uh, you know, a lot of things. I've mentioned a lot of, a lot of different things in the past. Um, now, however, uh, a lot of what you guys don't see is, is what is standing right here. This is the wood stove. Uh, I burn 99% of the fleshings that I, that I have off the critters. It actually, it saves me a ton of firewood every year. Um, you just got to be careful about how much you burn, how much you put in it. But I can tell you right now, uh, you know, it saves me cutting a bunch of firewood. It's pretty much just like having an oil burner. So another method to use up some of these critters is, is this is kind of cool. We're going to, today what we're going to do is we're going to make a bird feeder. As the title says, we're going to make a kind of a suet type feeder, um, you know, using the using the fleshings of the critter. So I got here. I've got this little pail here. As you can see, I've got it just right topped off. Uh, this is this has got coon fleshings in it. You want something that's real fatty, skunk, uh, coon, beaver fleshings work good. But what I've got here is I've got this whole pot just full of fleshings. Obviously, you know, there's some meat and other things in there. We're looking for just the fat because we want to render that down and make it actually into a moldable block like suet. So anyway, this is the first step here. Um, I'm just going to take this big pail here of fleshings and I'm just going to set it on the wood stove. And, uh, you know, it, it'll take a couple of days depending on, uh, you know, how cold it is, how hot I got the fire. But we, we want to just kind of render down that, all that fat, uh, get that meat kind of pulled away from it. We want just that good rendered down greasy fat um, to start a project with. Something we can mold. So anyway gonna set that on the wood stove it's gonna sit there just a little bit and uh, I'll check back with you whenever we see some progress and you guys can see whenever uh, whenever we've really got some rendering going but uh, I think you guys will enjoy this video this is kind of full circle of using this critter so I don't know if you guys can hear that or not but that's the uh, that's the pot on the wood stove there you guys can hear it's bubbling down in there that's that fat slowly starting to render out and uh, you know this you can see the, the elevation, the pot's already starting to drop. And you know, basically what we're doing is we're just gonna pull the fat out of it and then we're gonna skim off the, the meat and the fleshings and stuff. So it's so. been just a couple of days here and uh, this is two nights on the wood stove and you can see that pile of, uh, of fat and fleshings. It's, it's rendered down quite a bit. Uh, there's still a little bit left in there, but we're gonna go ahead and get started with this video. I can always add that back. Um, you know, if you, if you wanted to get the most out of it, so to speak, but that is awesome. Uh, that is awesome dog food. Uh, so anyway, that's what it looks like now. You can see all that is fat um, in that pot now, all the liquid form. So now we're ready to make our bird food. All right, so I took that pot there off the fire. Uh, obviously, you know, that's fat oil basically, so it's hot. We need to let it cool down just a little bit there. So while that's cooling down, uh, I'll show you what, what we're working with here. So I wanted to keep this really basic. Uh, you know, if y'all want to go out and do this with your kids or, you know, just for yourself. So anyway, real simple here. Um, I got all this stuff at the dollar store. So, you know, I, I have $3 in this basically. Um, anyway, you know, you got a dollar's worth of bird seed, your favorite bird seed or whatever. Um, went and picked this up at the dollar store here. These are just, um, what are they actually called? Organizer baskets. Anyway, you get them two for a dollar, two for a dollar. And all you're looking for is a wire cage. Um, we're gonna make a cage out of this for our for our suet block or fat block or whatever. And then I got a couple of a uh, couple of Tupperwares here, uh, containers. And what I want to do is I want the containers to basically I want them to fit down in this uh, this wire uh, basket, so that way we're not having to cut them, right? You know, just just simple. So anyway, I got two of those for a dollar. Uh, I got the wire baskets for a dollar, and I've got a you know, whatever bird seed, you know, you can get a dollar worth of bird seed. All right, so that stuff's probably cooled off by now. So let me show you what we got here. Um, now, obviously, like I said, you guys saw I had that thing loaded down with fleshings from coons. Um, you know, you can use beaver, you can use all your skunk, uh, you know, you can use really any of the fatty stuff. And I know a lot of you guys are going to wonder about the smell. And to be quite honest, it smells real similar to cooking bacon in here. <laughs> but anyway, so I'm just going to take uh, what's left over here. And you can see it's real broke down. Um, there's just fat. And then there's, you know, quite a little bit of the, the meat here that was left. And uh, what I'm going to do with that is actually I'm going to let that cool down. And that's going to be uh, dog supper there tonight. So anyway, it's super... 
super high protein for him. Uh, I've been feeding this stuff to him for going on 10 years now. And, uh, you know, he loves it. So, anyway, I'll pull all that out. Like I said, you know, the meat obviously won't break down. The fat, you know, you could keep rendering this down a little bit more. But, uh, all in all, she's pretty much, pretty much done here. So, we'll pull as much of that out as we can. Like I said, this, this meat is essentially cooked, too. I mean, you know, it's been cooking in this fat now for, for a couple of days. So... Anyway, pretty simple, straightforward. Get enough of it out of there where I can pour it. Uh, all right, so let me get let me get some gloves on here because I know that stuff's still hot. So all I want to do now is obviously like this. Like I said, this fat is now liquid because it's hot, but it will set up um, now. Temperature wise, you know, this stuff will do great. It, it's fat, right? So it will, if it's sitting out in the sun at 100 degrees, it's going to melt. But, you know, for winter time, fall time, this is just uh, a great option for these suet feeders. All right, so all I'm going to do is just take my pot and uh, and just pour it right into that Tupperware. I'm not going to go completely full because uh, I want to make sure I can get two of these into the uh, into my deal there, my basket. There we go, you can see. Now if you wanted to strain this and do whatever else you wanted to do, I mean, that's essentially jet fuel right now too. That right there will burn to no end. Uh, you know, like I said, I, I heat with it, so that's what's burning the wood stove right now. Um, all right, so now we've, got, uh, now we've got our containers full. Now what I like to do is just take and, uh, and we'll just put some, uh, Put some bird seed in there. Some of it'll float, some of it'll sink. Uh, and you know, as this stuff cools down too, you can kind of give it a little bit of stir. But I like quite a little bit of bird seed in my uh, in my suet feeders. Let them birds pick at it. So I'm gonna load it up pretty good. And uh, basically, this is this is a mix. I don't even know what it is, but. Got a lot of sunflower seeds, some corn in there, some, some other seeds. And I'm just going to basically cover the sunflower seeds float. The, some of them will sink as this, as they absorb the uh, the fat. But yeah, there we go. I don't know, what was that? Cup or so per, per unit there. Got it nice and filled up, uh, almost to the rim. So now I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, I'll let them get just a little bit cooler. Obviously, it's like 50, 50 degrees in here right now, so they're not going to cool off super fast. Um, but it's about 10 degrees outside. So I'm going to go ahead and put the lids on these bad boys and uh, so I don't spill all this goodness here. And I'm going to go set them outside, and it will not take long. So I will check back with you guys here in just a just a little bit once these cool down, and then we'll build our little wire cage, and uh, we'll be ready to feed the birds. So real quick, guys, um, you can see I've got the uh, I've got them outside cooling here, and uh, it's obviously pretty cold out here, but they're starting to cool off. So I'm just taking and uh, I'm giving them a little stir here, and since this fat is starting to cool. Uh, I'm able to give it a stir and kind of better suspend the bird seed. Uh, you can see right here, this is one that hasn't been stirred yet. And a lot of the seeds are on the bottom and the sunflower seeds are floating. But you can see what's happening here. Uh, it's cooling down, but it's still at a, quite a workable, uh, workable consistency where I can... I can just roll them seeds up in there, give it a good stir, and this will just suspend the seeds, um, you know, throughout the throughout the fat, and it'll keep them from, you know, just being just on the top and bottom. So. Our fat's hardened up here. You can see it's snowing outside, but it's been out there a good minute, uh, hardened up. So we're gonna go ahead and build our cage now. Hear me out, guys. You can do this a ton of different ways, right? I just wanted to kind of show you guys. You can go to the dollar store and literally do this for three dollars, uh, you know. But obviously, you can do this a bunch of different ways. So anyway, we've got our two little baskets here. We're gonna just build a our little cage here to to support this stuff. So I just got some wire here, and I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, this will be the the top, and uh, just go ahead and put that wire 
wire right through the top there. Come on wire, work with me here. There we go. Put that wire right through the top there and we'll give her a, a twist. And then uh, we can go ahead and either wire this up, we can leave our tag in, make a loop, wire it up, whatever. And then, uh, then we're gonna wire the bottom shut as well and that's how we're going to open it basically. All right, so we've got our stuff here. Um, and you can see what that looks like now. Now that's all nice and hard. You can see all those seeds are just suspended in there. And it's just a big block of fat with, uh, with bird seed in it. All right, so we're just gonna go ahead and try to scoop it out. Now, sometimes these come out really nice and sometimes they don't. Uh, ideally, you know, if you really wanted to do this, I would think if you could get a, um, like a glass pan uh, that was the same size as your cage, then after it was hard, you could take a torch maybe and heat the outside of it, uh, I would think, and, and maybe it would fall out easier. But it doesn't have to be pretty. That's why I got gloves on. Uh, if it doesn't come out just perfect, you know, this is, it's very moldable because it's fat. So, you know, we can, uh, we can make it into a, a ball or shape it however we want. Uh, like I said, sometimes this works. I find with the, uh, with beaver fat, it, it works a little bit better to mold it. Um, this is, this is obviously coon fat here, but it doesn't matter. It's all the same. Just go around. And for that matter, if you really wanted to, you could almost just use this uh, container, you know, and just let it let it be. Just set it outside. But we about got that here, so there we go. Come on, it's gonna go. There we go. All right. So there we have it. One big suet block. So we'll just put that in in the half there of our uh, of our container. We've got a little bit left here in the bottom. Uh, and we'll go ahead and use them all. Just a little bit around the sides there. Perfect. So there you have it. Uh, nice big glob of, of, uh, of bird feed there. So go ahead and we've got our loop there on the bottom and uh, I'll just go ahead just close that up and let's take another you can use zip ties you can use bread ties whatever you know there's nothing no science to it here uh but just kind of just kind of close up that cage there and a couple of twists and then you can access it you know as the as the birds eat it but now you can hang it and the squirrels have a real hard time getting at it with this small cage but there you have it guys all right y'all so there you have it one bird feeder made from a uh, made from raccoon. Uh, like I said, you can use you can use any really fatty critter that you want, anything that's got enough fat to render down, and uh, you know, pretty simple, straightforward. As you can see, um, nice family project if you want to have it. But yeah, uh, I'll I'll hang it up. I'll try to get some video here, um, maybe next day or so, of. Uh, of the birds actually eating on it. So if you guys enjoyed this uh, this video or these types of videos where it's kind of um, you know a little different from the norm, let me know in the comments. I'd I'd appreciate it. Also, if you're new, uh, you know consider subscribing. Look through a bunch of my other videos. Uh, I would appreciate it. All right. So with that being said, guys, I sure would appreciate it if you hit that thumbs up. As always, y'all, I appreciate the view, and we'll see y'all in the next video.